Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the non-farm payroll Friday. Canadian unemployment as well, plus ISM at 4 p.m. All of which I will not be trading. Uh, we have some people from London coming in today, uh, so I will be doing business uh, with the Brits uh, this afternoon. But uh, good to just go over things. Anyway, just for the sanctity of uh, routine, and this is what I do. Anyway, we're opening up with Apple. Uh, we never really talk about stocks on this channel, but obviously uh, we do own some stocks. Um, looking to accumulate some Apple. I don't own any Apple shit. Um, I'm an Android guy. All my daughters and wife and all these people, they own they own Apple shit, um, but it's a good company, obviously maybe the best company in America, big moat, big loyalty, uh, so we're looking to accumulate some Apple um, down here between say 120 and 100, shit's come off from, um, I don't know, 180, uh, so 90 bucks will be at the 50%, um, looking to buy some Apple. Just wanted to point this out. You can use a lot of different methods to buy stocks, but in general, we just want to accumulate on weakness. We want to accumulate good companies on weakness. So you could be buying Microsoft right now as well. They had some some funny, wonky news about cloud revenue. Um, they're trading around 220 now, down from I don't know where the fuck they're down from, but same same chart anyway starting with apple i don't know why i'm even doing this uh this is not a trade this is an investment it's very different from what i do in fx um but just sharing uh sporty fucking day yesterday holy shit let's look at dollar yen um that was uh i don't know what it was it was just weird um totally overdone this move here is ADP plus uh, <clears throat> jobless claims. Shot up to 68. You think that's enough? Looks like people started shorting it here between 50 and 60 and got stopped out. 134.04. We were patient. Um, I think our average was around 87. Uh, and also got lucky a little bit, right? Because that, um, the ceasefire news. So we got paid at 90. The ceasefire news comes out. It comes in 62 offered. We scoop some at 65, half the position, right? So all of a sudden our average is, is you know, probably 134.16. Um, gave us kind of a free trade, right? We would trade it all the way up, back up to 04 after that, um, after that number. We hit 01s on the way back down. Uh, again, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. This is why uh, if you are a short-term currency trader, you need to be at your desk. You can't just set it and forget it. Um, even if you have a systematic, you got to sit there and watch it uh, because... There's news. There's news flow. There's there's things you need to understand real time, which can really help um, a system uh, and can really help your trading. Anyway, uh, enough of that shit. Obviously, this shit all went 100 points lower on really no news at all. I mean, it just, just drifted lower. Like I said on Twitter, that was just a gift. Um, sometimes you get lucky. That was a lucky one. Let's just say that. Um, we're square dollar yen now. Again, I don't know why it drifted straight back up. Uh, yields are lower, 372. Um, don't really understand why dollar yen's here. But that said, it looks like dollar yen is going to trade above this 134.47. Uh, so I don't know. It just looks like that needs to do that. This is the obvious big resistance, 136.41. Uh, 
250 points away. Why are we talking about it? I don't know. It's non-farms. Uh, if you get a crazy extension higher, um, this is a great place to sell on a stretch day. So just use your imagination. I know it's outlandish, um, but use your imagination. This is a good stretch sell, 136.40 uh, today, if we have some sort of hysteria. Let's look at these rates. Um, here's the uh, bar. That's the dailies. Here's the bar, ADP. Uh, jobless claims bar we went from 70 to 77 peaked up at 78 ground back down to 70 this is the dollar yen moved down <clears throat> you see how dollar yen and rates really is symbiotic um, now we're fucking around here 70 72 I think this is negative for the dollar uh, 372 I know the short-term rates uh, popped a bit higher. Um, I don't know. I just, I just doubt they're going to have the balls to aggressively raise. Right? There's just too much debt out there. Right? Yeah, 31 trillion in debt, and a lot of that's going to have to be reset at much higher rates. It's, it's a clusterfuck. This whole thing. Um, and the 10 year agrees with me, right? Like, how can short term rates be focusing on 5% and the 10 years at 372? Um, all hat, no cattle is the best way to describe central bankers right now. Or uh, Jersey Girl. Uh, I guess that's ECB, or my, our little sun tan, our little sunbed lover. Um, she reminds me of a, an old friend of mine, Camille, um, from Short Hills, New Jersey. This is a story for another day. Um, anyway, rates really haven't done anything. Popped up, popped down. Now we're just waiting. Uh, Aussie got smashed. All these charts are going to look the same. Dollar CAD. Um, only up 70 ticks. I don't understand what the hell is going on in Dollar CAD. I guess I told you that yesterday, but... Dollar CAD's a funny one. Oil's back at 74 bucks. Oil and Dollar CAD have really zero correlation these days. Uh, we have CAD employment numbers today, so beware. Euro, this is too low. I don't know why we're down here. Um, we're not going to go into non farms with a dollar based position. But uh, I would fade left-hand side euro. This really doesn't make any sense to me at all. Uh, very overdone. Euro sterling, uh, dick in a box, I guess, is the best way to describe this. Uh, <laughs> we traded it on the short side yesterday. Um, okay, it worked out. It was fairly unprofessional. Uh, you know, got our average to 30 went into the number with a short position thinking well it's cross should should be fine oops uh 60 paid you know belt around the neck but ended up okay we sold some high ones and prayed very very unprofessional trading but um uh, whatever is what it is 87.80 is the big point. Um, dick in a box. Euro sterling. Come on. This is why Euro sterling did what it did. Cable shit the bed. Um, we were, the world was conviction short on Tuesday. We broke 120. Then we went up to 120.85 twice. Now we're back at 119. People are conviction short again. <clears throat> She looks like it wants to go lower. Uh, certainly the picture in the UK is pretty fucking dire. But I really don't know. Like, I'm not on this bandwagon. I'm not um, not diving into shorts here or diving into longs. Just playing it day by day. Um, yeah, no idea. Cable. 
Kiwi in the morning. We had some nice fun buying low ones, you know, buying 75, selling 90s. I think we did it four times, 75, 85, 75, 90. Um, and then obviously into the number, this thing got smushed. We were trading up at 97, down to 30, hit a low of 10. This is an interesting chart now with these lows. 62 is the is the line in the stand in, in Kiwi. If we get a heater today, a real hot one, and equities uh, poop the shoot, uh, Kiwi could be your, your, your pony. There's going to be some risk below 62 cents. If we get a weak one, Dollar Swiss is your, is your, is your horse, right? So we're back up at these range highs. Um, we know the retail market is very long, this stuff, so it has a hard time going higher. Uh, so a weak one, you sell Dollar Swiss. Strong one, you probably sell Kiwi. Weak one, you sell Dollar Swiss, or if you prefer something a little uh, more liquid, buy Euro Dollar. Cross yen higher. No dog, no dog in this fight. Euro CAD lower. We talked about dollar yen. Ooh, dollar yen. Look at that. <laughs> we talked about 134.40. It wants to trade up there. Looks like it is doing that right now. Wow. Dollar yen is a wild animal. Anyway, all these crosses, not really a cross day. It's going to be a dollar day, so don't worry about that shit. We're short some Euro Norway. Um, right at this level, 1077, we fucking was very uncomfortable when we were trading at 82. Um, but uh, here we are at 77. We'll see. <laughs> Got my, you know, it's a systematic trade, so I really don't, you know, the only thing I can really do is, is help with the entry try and get a better price at the entry than what the system would get and then help at the exit either let it uh, run further or trade it for an average usually trading it for an average actually costs me money um, on the take profit it's better to let it be uh, but easier said than done um, this is real money this is real life so you gotta gotta trade real money in real life anyway short euro norway that's really all we got um, weak one today, sell dollar Swiss, strong one today, sell Kiwi. We'll see how we do here. Oh, let's look at stocks. Stocks have done nothing all week, right? First week of the year, we tickled the highs, we tickled the lows. So I guess the high this week is 96, the low this week was 16. Let's just say above 3,900 is quite bullish, below 3,800 is quite bearish. Uh, we're not trading stocks right now, but uh, they're worth watching, obviously, because of the correlation with the dollar. It's still pretty strong. Not much to do this morning. Uh, following this dollar yen, uh, 129, 134.30 on just on nothing. Looks like they're just going to get some stops here above 40, and then it'll settle down. All right, listen, I've said enough. Um, good luck out there, people. Good luck with these numbers. It's going to be a wild afternoon. I will see you on Monday. Ciao.